Hello everyone, so I'm here at Funky Bones, which is located behind the Art Museum in Indianapolis, New Fields, and it's a pretty cool area. It's surrounded by a playground, by some swings, and then there's this giant skeleton art figure that kids can jump on. And you also might have heard of it from the uh, movie Fault in Our Stars or maybe read the book. I don't, I'm not sure if it's mentioned. I haven't watched the movie or read the book. It actually sounds pretty traumatizing, but it's a pretty cool art piece uh, behind the art museum. It's a giant skeleton. It was fun to go to. So me and Emily and our friends went to it today and we just enjoyed the beautiful weather. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Pawfology. Hope you've had a good Saturday. Hope your weekend is going well. Uh, it is the afternoon on Saturday. Emily and I went to uh, Funky Bones today with some friends, and it was really cool. Um, it's, I don't know what, is it called Funky Bones? Like the park? It's a park um, behind- 100 Acres. Okay, it's called 100 Acres. It's the park behind Newfield's Art Museum, right? Mm -hmm. So it was really cool. So they have Funky Bones, which is a, pe a art piece, I assume. And it was actually featured in Fault in Our Stars, that a movie by that about the book that John Green wrote. And it was really cool um, to see that. And there's some, there's a bunch of art there. So they have this one art thing that kind of looks like a spaceship in the sky. It's in the in the middle of the trees. Maybe I'll show it. And obviously they got funky bones there. It was just really nice, you know? I enjoyed it. It was a nice walk, easy walk just to go down there. We, uh, it's also beside Butler, so we saw some stuff. You know, I never really go to Butler. I've only been there maybe once or twice. And I saw Emily, uh, her business building, you know, where she goes to class every week and really cool, really nice campus. I love university campuses. I think they're, I, I just like them a lot. They're, they're really cool. So we went there and we also went to this coffee shop called, what is it called? Proof Rock. Proof Rock. And I got a coffee. Proof, Proof Rock. Proof Rock. It's really, it's a weird name, but... Their cold brew, I got their cold brew, it's really good. I, I uh, thoroughly enjoyed it. And their coffee shop, I'm gonna be honest, is a little weird inside, but it really has that, uh, that artsy, I'm in school for literature vibe. You know what I mean? Like if you, if you like books and library feel, they have a downstairs that I didn't film too much of because it was really awkward because there's all these kids down there reading and working on homework, I assume. And, um, but it's really cool. It was, it was a night, it looked like a nice place to study, to meet up with your friends. I liked it. And they got all this expensive art on the wall. So funny. Like a little piece of art that was $500 right when you walk in the door. I'm like, I don't know if I would buy that for $500, but hey, if you can sell it, if that's how much you, you want to charge for your art and it's that good. I don't know anything about art, so maybe it really did, you know, it actually is worth that much, but. Hey, and if the artist became big, it would only go up in value. So, um, but anyway, it's been a good day. We are currently at Kroger. We're gonna go in here and do a little bit of shopping. Um, I uh, It's not as busy as I think it was maybe a couple hours ago. So that's nice. It is very busy because, you know, it's Memorial weekend and yeah. But that's what we did today. I would say it was a very fun day, very enjoyable and we're gonna go shopping and go back home and just relax. Um, I didn't really do anything this morning. I really honestly just slept most of the morning, then got up and went went out to the park area. We saw some turtles there. I don't know if you'll be able to see it in any of the footage I show, but there's some turtles and they were really cool. Like there's wildlife out. I saw a bunch of honeysuckles. And growing up, I remember my sister and my mom taught me to, you can go up to the honeysuckle, okay? And you pull the main little stem out and there will be a little drop of liquid water and it's part of the honeysuckle. And I think that's why it's called a honeysuckle. So you pull that out and you that little drop of water is as sweet as honey. And you can, it was just, I remember doing that growing up. It was so good. And I did that today, but uh, I didn't get 
any droplets in the honeysuckle. I don't know if you even know what I'm talking about, but I did, I could taste the honey though. So I really like honeysuckles. I think they're, they're really fun. As long as there's no bees in them, I just grab them, pull, pull the stems out. You can kind of taste the, the sweetness of the honeysuckle, really fun. So, but now we're gonna go inside and uh, that's what we're doing. It's a pretty chilly day, but it's very nice. I'm glad we went to 100 Acres, wherever the, the skeleton, this bird's about to wreck, good grief. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Okay, sorry, I got distracted. I'm glad we went to that 100 Acre place because um, it's, a, it's not too hot, you know? And just good, it was a good semi-cool day. So. It is chilly. Yeah, uh, it's chilly, it is chilly. But it was nice because I'm over here, you know, walking, walking, all this stuff. You know, I'm built in a sweatshirt, I'm building up a sweat. I'm like, good grief, I'm over here walking. I just, I enjoyed it. It was a perfect day. I'm not, I'm not about to go walking in 90 degrees, you know what I mean, with the sun full out. No, I'm good. Today was a good day to go. So, but that's what's happening. If you're still, what what's it called? Fun funky bones? Mm -hmm. Funky? Yeah. Oh, uh, if you're still watching this, comment down below, funky. That just reminds me of Bootsy Collins and James Brown. I went through a phase about a month ago where I only listened to James Brown. I got his books. I read about uh, his autobiography. I started it. I just, he's such an interesting character. He's the most sampled artist of all time. So a lot of his music is in other, you know, his beats and his stuff that was in his album has been used, at least his, especially his drummer. His drummer um, was the most sampled drummer of all time because it was connected to James and, you know. So very interesting. And I love Bootsy Collins. Man, Bootsy, so cool. Uh, Bluebeard, I've said this before, there's this restaurant called Bluebeard, and uh, the owner used to be, it's right beside Calvin Fletcher's and Amelia's, the owner used to be the stage, or he used to be the roadie that used to set up for uh, Bootsy Collins and Funkadelic Paramount, is that what it's called? So, Funkadelic. So, he has some stuff from, I think, the tours that he did with them, really, really cool. So I've all, I've really would love to, I haven't been inside Bluebeard, but I would love to go inside. He, that guy helped do the, make the spaceship for Funkadelic Parliament. And I think, hopefully I'm saying that right. And then he also made the flashlight, I think, for their famous song, Flashlight. So interesting, man, so interesting. Um, but yeah. Okay, we're gonna go inside and we'll see you in just a bit. Hey everyone, just wanted to say hello and happy Saturday. I hope everyone is having a great day. What are you doing on this Saturday? Is it hot where you are? Is it cold? It's kind of in between here. Looks like it might rain. So we just got some groceries at Kroger. It was definitely hopping in there, but I feel like not any more than a regular Saturday which was good. Yeah. So, yeah. I don't know if we got anything special. We're going to try some new popcorn, so that'll be good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Anyway, it's like probably 4 p.m. by this point. I really do not know what time it is. But we're going to head back home, eat, and I'm going to force myself to do some schoolwork. Because nice. I didn't do any this morning. I read my Real Simple magazine instead. <laughs> like I told you guys earlier, I'm pretty sure they keep sending me two per month, like of the same one. So, I don't know. I wish there was someone I could just give it to, but I don't. So, my my family already gets it. So, anyway. Yeah. Michael, you want to say anything? I can't. I think I'm going to end the vlog here. Let me see if I can get this. Oh, turn it in around. Well, everyone, I'm going to end the vlog. 
I hope you all have a great rest of your weekend. We're going to go home, put our groceries away, maybe make some dinner. I got I got a little snack pack thing from Kroger at 50% off. It had like special, uh, you know, specialty meat in it. It was a uh, whatever, geno- genonomi meat or some sort of salami. So I'm excited for that. I'm going to try that later. Uh, I got some gourmet cheddar cheese I'm going to get or taste. And that's what I'm doing. Relax, maybe play some uh, games, watch some TV. Oh, you know, here's something interesting. Yesterday or last night, I watched, uh, it was a documentary. I haven't finished it yet. I think it was on Netflix or HBO or maybe it was Hulu. I don't know. But it was about White Boy Rick. And I haven't finished it yet, but it's awesome. It's really good. I really like learning about uh, White Boy Rick and you know, how he got sentenced to jail or prison. Very interesting. He's the longest serving person in the Michigan prison for selling, uh, I guess, a drug. Oh, I don't know. Some sort. He's like, he has some weird uh, sentence issue, but I don't know. Maybe he's been released by now, but I don't think so. But I think he is someone who should be released, apparently. I don't know. I'm just saying, like, that's what the documentary is about. Like, how they're making an argument of his sentence is not just for like what he did because he was only 17 but uh very interesting to learn about but again i don't really know anything about the situation i don't really know if i believe one way or the other just an interesting documentary so okay well i'm gonna go hope you all have a good day if no one's told you this today you are loved and this world's a better place because you are here I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.